Not all children headed back to a classroom this September. More parents are turning to alternative learning options, including homeschooling. Judy Arnell with Professional Parenting is in studio with all the inf information parents need to know. Thank you so much, Judy. So you've decided to homeschool. What are the steps? Okay, there's some simple steps. First step is notify your school if your child's already in school. Okay. Um, you don't have to tell them where they're going or what you're doing, but you do have to let them know they're not coming back. Second step is you have to register with a supervising school board. Um, it doesn't have to be the local public school. There's about 15 private schools or school boards willing to supervise your home ed program in Alberta. Third step, and you want to register before September 30th because that's the deadline that you can receive funding for the year to offset the costs of curriculum and things. The next thing you have to do is you have to decide which program you're on. So in Alberta, we have two types. We have parent-directed traditional home education. So on that program, um, the parent chooses the curriculum, delivers the curriculum, and assesses it. Now, if you don't want to do that, then you can go on a school at home program. And it's, it's home-based, but it's not true home education. It's, it's school delivered through correspondence or online. This is also called blended or lined program. So you decide which one you want to do, what you have more control. And then the last step is choose curriculum. And um, a lot of parents do free learning and a lot of parents choose curriculum and there's lots of choices out mm -hmm. there and lastly is to find a support group okay so how much time do parents need to invest into this is it a full eight hours the child sitting at the table the kitchen table doing homework well not including reading time or field trips it takes about one tenth the time of children in school because you're not working with a large mm -hmm. classroom of 35 kids you can get things done really quickly in fact um, it takes less time to homeschool than a lot of parents take battling homework now there's also supplements to this, like some activities, you can actually join some groups. Oh, there's lots of groups. A lot of the city facilitated, uh, facilities are offering programs for homeschooling. Um, there are a lot of places you can go for activities. Okay, my next uh, question. My sister-in-law is homeschooling and I was worried about my niece not being socialized, but mm -hmm. she's the most social butterfly in the world. There's a lot of social activity that does go on in this. There is. We, we often laugh and say, you know, we have to stay home and actually homeschool because <laughs> um, research shows uh, the average homeschool child is involved in eight activities. And that's about four times the amount that children are in school. So um, they're exposed to a lot of social opportunities. Okay. And is there any other information you want parents to know out there if they are considering homeschooling? Um, it can be very confusing at first where to start. Um, we do, um, at professionalparenting.ca, we do webinars once a month on how to get started. And there's a lot of Facebook groups for different cities, different towns in Alberta. Um, and get on there, ask a question, you'll get a lot of support from parents. Thank you so much, Judy. Homeschooling Thanks. definitely on the rise and an option for some parents. Uh, you can get more information on their Facebook group, Alberta Homeschooling. They also have a website, professionalparenting.ca slash webinars. Also, don't forget to pick up the latest edition of Calgary's Child Magazine. It's on stands of various places in Calgary. You can also like them on Facebook and follow them on Twitter.